to talk more about what happens next. Our political analyst John Dadian joins us live from home. Good morning, John. Hey, thanks so much for being with us. Uh, we've talked so much about uh, the justice's legacy. Talk has quickly pivoted, though, to what happens next. Uh, Mitch McConnell not even waiting through the night to suggest he wants to push through to a vote or confirm a replacement, maybe before the election or at least before uh, swearing in ceremonies in January. Well, that, that's exactly right. Uh, a lot of people uh, on both sides are comparing this uh, to the previous action uh, uh, when President Obama was in office that they didn't confirm uh, his pick. But there's, there's a big difference. It really is apples and oranges because the difference is President Obama was in his second term. So he really tr truly was a lame duck and the Republicans did control the Senate. In this case, both the White House and the Senate are by the uh, same party. Uh, so that's why it will probably move forward and probably move forward quite quickly. And John, President Trump already put out his shortlist. What kind of nominee is he looking for? And will this whole process hurt or help him in November? Well, uh, that's hard to say. But again, uh, clearly he's already appointed two justices to the court. So they definitely already had a shortlist. And he has consulted with several um, conservative think tanks, the Heritage Foundation and a few others. Um, so this, they, were, they were ready to go on, on this one without a doubt. I predicted, dude, I predicted way back in 2015 when the presidential race was just getting going that whoever was a president in this term would get three uh, appointees. And unfortunately, uh, it, it, that, that has happened with the passing of a great justice. Let me point out just a personal note about uh, this particular justice who just passed away is, you know, a lot of times you will see people on both sides uh, saying things, and a lot of it is just, you know, uh, you know, t t well, hyperbole. All conservatives are saying great things about this justice mm -hmm. in the sense that you don't have to agree with her. Clearly, she was extremely liberal, one of the most liberal justices ever on the Supreme Court. But everybody is saying what a great public servant and what a great life she had. She 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 argued cases before she became a justice at least five times. So I just want to say this was a great American and she had a huge impact on our society. And just incredible. Um, is there a process? The last question I want to make sure we get in. Is there any process in place to stop Senate uh, Republicans who, of course, have the majority right now and the president from making this happen? You know, sometimes it takes two or three months, but but they have plenty of time, obviously, before January, if that's the case. Is there any process in place to delay it or to stop this uh, this moving forward of the replacement of uh, Justice Ginsburg? And, and I hate to give you a political answer, but the, the simple answer is yes and no. Uh, yeah, there's certainly uh, you know, there's a lot of people in the Senate that know parliamentary procedures much better than I, uh, but they can do a filibuster, they can do some things. However, um, you know, the, when you're the majority party and especially McConnell, who's considered one of the most brilliant parliamentarians, uh, he, he has he has all the cards. So it is it is going to be very uh, tough. Mary, to answer your question specifically, the Constitution states that there will be a Supreme Court. But other than that, uh, people don't realize all the different procedures we have can be changed by Congress at every time, including how many people are on the Supreme Court, the procedure, et cetera. It's only been about the last 60 or 70 years that the, by precedent, the process is that it goes before the Senate Judiciary Committee. But that is not necessarily in law. So, uh, wow. yeah, on both sides, everybody's going to be trying different angles uh, to promote their side, the Republicans to get it done quickly and the Democrats to stop it. And John Dady and joining us live from home, our political analyst, thank you so much for that insight. And it will be quite an interesting few months ahead, Mary. It certainly is. If it wasn't interesting already, mm -hmm. yeah, John, thank you so much.